God created the world and all that is in it. The seas, the stars, the plants, the birds, the animals, and many more good and beautiful things. God created humanity by breathing the breath of life into the dust of the earth. Humanity was formed in the good image of God and was blessed to live in the beautiful world God created. God saw everything he had made and it was very good. Genesis 1.31 God walked in the garden and spoke with Adam and Eve. God made sure that Adam and Eve had plenty to eat, but told them not to eat from the fruit tree in the middle of the garden. Adam and Eve were given freedom to make a choice, to obey God or disobey God. Adam and Eve were tempted by a serpent to eat the fruit from the forbidden tree. The serpent said that if they ate it, Adam and Eve's eyes would be opened and they would be like God. They would know good and evil. Adam and Eve listened to the serpent instead of God. After they ate, their eyes were opened and they felt shame. Adam and Eve's disobedience broke their relationship with God, with each other, and with the world around them. And yet, even after they disobeyed, God sought out Adam and Eve. God walked through the garden and called their names. Adam and Eve heard God, but they hid themselves from God's presence. Making choices that disobey God has a devastating impact on our lives. Just like Adam and Eve hid from God, we might also want to hide from God and even from other people. Wrong choices can alienate us from the world around us. Sin is turning away from God and making gods of creation and of ourselves, thinking that we know what is best. Sin takes many forms. It can be individual or part of a larger system or power structure. It is everywhere around us and affects us in many ways. Sometimes we are the ones who make a wrong choice in sin. Sometimes we are part of a larger system that sins. And sometimes we are the victim of sin because someone does something wrong toward us. Whether we are the sinners or the ones who are sinned against, the results are harmful. Relationships are broken and gaps are created. So if sin is all around us and in us, how do we respond? Here's where grace and love walk in. Far greater than the power of sin and judgment are God's willingness to heal and forgive and to restore us to right relationship, right back into God's good image. God offers us a new way to live, a way that spans the gap of broken relationships and brings reconciliation. God desires to bridge the gap created by sin. And here's where Jesus comes in and this gift of salvation. Through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, God offers salvation to everyone. Jesus is the ultimate example for us. In life, he brought freedom from oppression of all kinds, physical, social, spiritual. He modeled right relationship with God and with those around him. Jesus taught us how to live with God and with other people. He wanted humanity to be released from oppression and things that weigh us down. Jesus preached good news. In death, Jesus showed us the power of faith and the power of God's love in the midst of violence and evil. He was obedient to the end. And in Jesus' resurrection, we are given the gift of eternal life. It is up to us to accept this free gift. You see, we humans can do our worst, murder God, but we cannot destroy God's love for us. The gift of God's love lasts forever. This love is the bridge between God and humanity. Salvation means that we are changed. It means we've experienced a change inside of us that shows on the outside as we make choices about how to live. It means that we have accepted God's forgiveness for our sins and that our broken relationship with God is restored. As a result, we choose to live our lives in ways that please God and reconcile relationships with people and the world around us. We live knowing that God's love lasts forever.